At this point, I'm like, get me the hell out of here. beautiful people and welcome back to my channel or if you are new hello and welcome my name is Yana so you guys already seen in the description box below today I will be talking all about my three month post-op before we get started be sure to like comment and subscribe head over to my Instagram and make sure you follow me at Yana underscore Iman and be sure to head over to my TikTok. I have more fun than the kids honestly it's Yana Iman 06 and I will have that somewhere here there everywhere who knows so I know if you already had the surgery you're probably thinking like what the hell did I get myself into like what did I do to myself why did I do this but I'm here to tell you it gets easier it gets easier it gets easier so if you are anything like me I know when I first came out of surgery and then it didn't get any easier for those first couple of months well weeks and months I am here to tell you it gets so much easier like I feel so much better so the first thing that I definitely wanted to jump into was swelling like that is the worst thing right now like swelling is just like there's nothing you can do about it and to like put it in perspective basically when I don't wear my faja and I go out so let's say I have like a crop top on and some jeans okay I go out in this outfit and when I first put it on it's it fits good it's not digging into my skin it's not leaving any marks none of that it fits really good because I'm not swollen right so once I'm out moving around some time goes by by the time I get home I have indentation in my sides and my stomach and am a little bit on my back and then I also have like that very uncomfortable feeling like it hurts to touch and then trying to get out of my clothes is like biscuits busting out of the can that's pretty much what it feels like and it's just so uncomfortable I honestly don't know when the swelling stops because for me it's it's I'm still swollen I wear my faja as much as possible if there is an event where either I'm taking pictures or something like that that requires me to be out of my faja that's pretty much the only time that I'm out of it but for the most part I'm definitely always in I still wear two foams on the side just because like when I'm wearing my faja and I'm, I'm still like losing weight and my shape is kind of curving in which is making my faja fit really weird. So I wear my foams on the side so there isn't any indentation from the creases of the faja if that makes sense. So in my three months basically right now it's maintaining my BBL. So now that I'm able to work out I do work out for about 25 to 30 minutes a day. If you can hear my kids in the background y'all please excuse my little blessings like I always say they are living their best life and that's okay. But also I don't really diet because dieting for me is just not it's not possible like I like to eat so I try to eat smaller portions of what it is that I've cooked or my husband has cooked pretty much the worst part for me is the swelling everything else is like really good to go I so over on my Instagram page I had a lot of ladies wanting to know more about my experience at unique aesthetic center so I wanted to pretty much give you an overview of everything I think I did do some in my other videos but I don't mind saying it again Starting from the beginning, they sent me my time the day before and then of course I got up, I went in. When I went in, they had a kiosk for me. I had to enter my patient code. Um, right after that, there was already a nurse, I think, or somebody waiting for me. She took me straight to the back, explained to me how it was gonna go, that I needed to stay X amount of hours for legal purposes before I had the surgery. And then I got dressed. The anesthesiologist came in to talk to me, um, asked me about any health concerns or anything like that. And he pretty much was like, all right, your doctor's gonna come in. Uh, probably about 30 to 45 minutes later, Dr. Fisher came in and we talked about what I wanted and we pretty much talked about what was realistic for my body. And that's another reason why I love Dr. Fisher because he really listens to what you want and he's very honest. He's gonna tell you, that's not gonna work. You gonna get this surgery still gonna have to work out in these areas and blah 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 so um we pretty much went through that he did tell me that I was a little overweight which if you've seen my I believe it was my first post-op video I pretty much explained that I gained so much weight thinking that I needed to gain this weight in order to get the results that I wanted when realistically I could have literally just went to the weight I wanted to stay at and maintain so I pretty much jacked myself up with that and I have to now go backwards and work that extra fat off, if that makes sense. Back to my experience at Unique. 
So after he came in and marked me up, um, I probably waited another 30 to 45 minutes. And then they came in, well the anesthesiologist came in, um, we were just talking about me being from Ohio. Uh, he had me put my arms out and I laid down on the table. He asked me about Ohio and I think he asked me to spill Ohio and then after that I was out. So when I woke up, you guys, I was in enormous pain. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, it was so painful. Like, and then I'm like so groggy. I, everything just, like, I could remember, but I could, I could barely remember everything. I just remember being on my stomach and someone saying, mommy, you gotta roll over, mommy, you gotta roll over. So I had to roll over on my own. And she's like, you gotta push up. So like, I'm struggling because I just feel so heavy and I'm in so much pain. So I just remember getting up. Somehow I ended up actually um, turning myself over. I don't remember how or how I did that. I just, I did it. And then she pretty much gave me a little cup of Gatorade and was like, your mom and your aunt and your cousin is outside. Did you want to wait a second or did you want to try to get up? And at this point, I'm like, get me the hell out of here because I'm trying to get some payment. So I ended up sitting down, but then I like hopped up immediately because when I sat down on my butt, it hurt so bad. I was pretty much in like the up and down limbo mode. Um, so I jumped up and then she's like, you know, you have to sit down. You have to sit down, mommy. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So I sat down. She started to wheel me and I told her like, no, I got to get up again because my butt was hurting so bad and like everything was just hurting. So she was like, you have to sit down. You're going to fall. You're going to pass out. You got to sit down. You can walk once you get to your hotel. And I was like, okay. So I sat down and I finally got out. I was in a lot of pain up until I got my medication. And after that, it was pretty much smooth sailing. It still hurt because it wasn't un enough to knock all of the pain out, but it was enough for me to be able to function and not feel like, oh my God, it really, really hurts. So I got in total 12 Percocet. So I really wanted to make sure I used those when I really, really needed to. And I just alternated between extra strength Tylenol and then the Percocet. I wasn't using up all my Percocets because I knew I was going to need some for that plane ride home. And if you've seen my BBL vlog from there, it's pretty much how everything went. So you'd have to go back and watch mine. So day one, I pretty much was walking all day, like day and night. So like I was extremely exhausted when I even got back home because between having my baby there and trying to function as a mom and recover, that shit was not okay. So if you plan on taking your baby that's under one year old, my recommendation, don't. I mean, my mom was there, my aunt and my cousin was there to help out, but still, like, as a mom, you just feel like you gotta get up and do it. Uh, yeah, no. I wasn't sleeping because I had to constantly pee because I had to constantly drink so much. I was drinking at least six bottles of water a day, two cans of pineapple juice. I had like one Gatorade a day. I would drink like teas and things like that. So I was constantly peeing and all I was doing was walking. When I got up to pee, I would just walk for like 30 minutes to an hour, no lie, because I knew once I lay back down, it was going to be so uncomfortable. And then getting up, was so hard because you have to use muscles that just hurt. So even with the medication, it was still like pretty painful. Day two, it eased up just a little bit. I was able to like walk a little bit faster without pain. I was able to kind of like, well, I wasn't able to bend down probably for like at least a month and a half. I wasn't able to like bend down and pick up things. Even now, like right up under my boobs, if I like lift my boobs up too high or like, this skin stretches that's underneath my boob, it like feel like it's about to rip apart and it hurts. So that's still kind of like, I guess, healing and doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. On day three, still not bad. It was getting better. It didn't still feel like 100% though, but I definitely felt like I was taking a step in the right direction. It was starting to like brighten up a little bit, but I didn't even have Miami to help like the scenery of Miami because it was raining. And it just always seemed so dark and it just was like, I don't know. I was pretty much like, okay, the sunshine's gonna help me out. You know, it rained the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but it rained a lot. So day four, five, six, and seven was pretty much all the same. I just rest, my mom cooked for me. I played with my son for a little bit, trying to recover and being exhausted because I get no sleep because I'm constantly up peeing. Thank God I'm past that. If you haven't already checked out my BBL vlog, you can go back and watch that and you'll pretty much see the gist of everything that I'm saying in whole. I did kind of like cover the things that you did not see in the video as far as the days go. Pretty 
much concludes this video. Please remember, if you have any questions, either head over to my Instagram and DM me. Make sure you follow me though. So write them down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope I answered you guys' question the best that I could. If not, then you know this. Tell me specifically what you guys want to know. And as always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!